Hey yo Jelly Beans, it's Jam here. For today's squishy makeover, I am going to be turning this adorable little orange squishy character. Not quite sure what it was, but when it ended up getting this, I thought it kind of looked like Pikachu. So I'm going to try that. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so first we got to put him in the usual bubble bath and rinse him off really good. This helps to make sure that there's no debris or crumbs. And then you want to dry them off as best as you can. And of course we let them relax for a little bit. Unwind. Then it's on to the powdering of starch. Again, this is cornstarch for those of you that might be new to the channel. I also wanted to add this little paw print kind of as a stand. Right now you might be wondering what in the world, but you'll see by the end of it what the idea I was going through. Hopefully it works out. So what we have to do with the paw is the same as with the little orange guy. Just gonna rinse it off, dry it, and then also apply some of that starch to it. This was so satisfying to do, by the way. And now we're gonna start with the paw first. Gonna paint that green like some grass. And this is puffy paint. I've been using this now with squishies after a recommendation from one of you, and I love it. I just set it aside. Then for this one, I used my old slick paint. And when I was applying it, it was not opaque. Like it was really see-through and just not good. So I went in with my newer puffy paint and it worked 10 times better. As you could tell, I had to do many, many coats. And then I used my blow dryer in between to speed that up. Now here I'm doing, of course, the signature Pikachu tail. And with puffy paint, it's nice because it's kind of thick, so this actually worked out really well, as you can see. It's firmed up, which was awesome. Alright, and then I connected the little guy to the base, and I did this by using green puffy paint, more of the same color, and kind of sealed in the cracks. I went all the way around it. I didn't really film too much in the back, but you'll kind of get the gist of it. And after that, I went in to add the facial features. Now I was trying to do this while moving around my camera. My usual stand ended up breaking, so I had to set this up different. And I kept bumping it with my hand. That was frustrating. And I didn't go with the normal Pikachu face. I went with kind of like a derpy face, so I'm going to name him Derpachu. Let me know what you think in the comments below if I should keep that. And of course, you have to add the signature rosy cheeks. And then the little twinkle in the eye like usual to give more of a personality. And then on for the back, since my set didn't come with brown puffy paint, I had to make it, which uses the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. Mix those together. And it was the perfect brown color. I couldn't have been any happier. Now we have to make sure to give Derpachu the signature brown stripes in the back. And then of course I went in and added the details to the tail. And afterwards I thought the base was looking kind of plain and I remembered I had some of these little flower clay cuts from, I can't remember where I ended up ordering them from, but I thought they would perfectly match the little grass stand that little Derpachu was sitting on. Don't you think it just adds that cute pop of color? I absolutely love it. Okay, so here is little Derpachu. Let me know what you think of him. And if you enjoyed this video, like usual, consider subscribing to be one of the jelly beans. And thank you so much, everyone. Thanks a bunch of noodles. Bye.